This video is a request from uh, one of my subscribers. He asked me to make a short video about a lower molar. So first I'm applying inside porcelain. This uh, porcelain looks like this but um, you can use uh, any kind of opacious um, denting instead of that uh, corresponding to the shade of course <laughs> that you're having so i apply it around margin and also on my occlusion next up i'm gonna apply Dentin. This is a second lower molar, but they usually have two cusps. But if you look at the bite, it's asking for three cusps. One, two, right? So I'm gonna make three cusps. Okay. Next up, I'm gonna do cutback to free some space for my clear porcelain. This is a crown, and this is his natural tooth. So I'm gonna look up where is the height of contour. So my height of contour is going to be somewhere around here, this line. This is where the crown goes from going this way, from the meets over here, and then it changes the direction, goes this way. So mine goes this way, now this way. It's very important to do this if you want your crown to look natural. Also, it's important to see where is the occlusion. Right, so this is his occlusion. See, so from here to here, for my occlusion is going to be the same. I'm gonna apply um, translucent porcelain. I use this one. CLF. Um, but you can use any kind of translucent porcelain. Like clear, super clear, anything you have. I'm even putting it on the cusps inside the crown, but just a little bit. This crown is D2, it's very translucent shade, and that's why I apply a lot. Okay, so next uh, I'm going to apply enamel. You can see three cusps, right? Here is a height of contour and here. So the same thing. Okay, so that's what it looks like from the buckle side. Okay, you can see that the crown is bigger than I want it to be in the end. 
it's because I'm not gonna do the second break only one and in the very end I'm gonna apply some of this porcelain this porcelain is white it's gonna mimic the white tips that molars usually have like bicuspids have them too it's just to frame the build up it is not a, a crucial step so if you don't have occlusal porcelain which this one is it's called occlusal porcelain then just don't use it that's totally okay okay and just like that I'm all done I raised the bite a little bit and I'll see you after bake okay so here is the crown fresh out of the oven I mean it's cooled off a little bit and that's what it looks like right now so what we're gonna do is make a contact when you make a contact make sure you know where exactly do you want the contact to be so we want it to be here all of this now I take um, this drill bit they look like this I don't know who makes them you could probably ha uh, order them at Zan Dental that's the number and uh, that's what they look like okay the bite so we use this it's called a move it shows right here which uh, color corresponds with how much um, the move is in this case is 1.4 oh, one and a quarter so I'm gonna put it in and do my but because the doctors don't want to have to grind the crowns so they give it to us okay the bite is done with this i like it because it can produce very good wear spots i don't have much to do in here and neither should you if you build the crown correctly then it would look like it doesn't need much of shaping up so just a little bit to the very tip very important how you grind even though you're not really grinding but so there is this area and there is this area so you grind this one and this okay So your final shape is there is two cusps the height of counter right and there is this area and this area this area and this area okay and there is that's what it looks like it looks rounded and going in Cusp 
shape. Now let's do this. Same thing, each cusp is divided and the height of contour. Not really grinding, I'm just smoothing it out. And just like that my crown is done. Okay, now the occlusion. I use this berm. And uh, each cusp, like this one on the outside, has the corresponding cusp on the inside. This one has this one. This, this, this one has this cusp, and this one has this cusp. So, all I'm going to do right now is divide the cusps. and accentuate them. Now this it doesn't just go straight down, it goes a little bit on the angle. Like this. And now it's ready to glaze. Shade is D2. As you can see, it's close, but not quite. I'm gonna use a little bit of blue for it. It's the incisal shade. It's this one. That's all I needed to do. Now I'm gonna accentuate the occlusion. But in doing so, I'm gonna do it very, very lightly since it's a light shade. And uh, that's it. It's ready for going into the oven. I'll see you after glaze. Okay, so this is the crown after glaze. That's what it looks like on the model. That's what it looks like in white. And uh, that's it. I hope that I covered everything that I needed to. And I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.